Good evening guys, my name is Jagdev Keshavan and welcome to a playthrough of Diablo 3 by Razorlight Entertainment. Thank you very much Blizzard for bringing us Season 12. So this season we're going to start off with a new character. Um, I have done a wizard before, but I've never actually played it to full because, you know, I had other things to do, other games to test. So this time we're going to start off with a wizard, play it to... Um, Level 70, Paragon levels, everything, and we're going to have Vargos Bane, the male wizard, so let's go ahead and create that. Participating in a season gives you opportunity to reap exclusive rewards. Season rules are completely fresh, blah, 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 accepted. Thank you very much. So now that the hero is created, we're going to try to skip as much as possible, get to the meat and bones and fun aspects of the game, get some nice builds for our sorcerer um, as much as as quickly and as hard as possible. Game settings, let's go with adventure. Uh, yeah, start game. Let's just do it. Adventure allows us to skip the whole campaign thing, but remember that if you want to um, get the ch get the seasonal challenge rewards for completing each of the chapters and even Hadrix set items, you have to complete certain chapters, like specifically 2, 3, 4. Chapters 2, 3, and 4. But I don't really care about that so much. So I'm just going to run around here. This is our guy who is slow, 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 slow. Just going to talk to... We got we got our usual bunch of crafters. We can't really do anything. Um, highest usable. That's all we're going to say. We don't care about the other stuff. Um, we can just go talk to people. Hire party members. Just go with that. Because we can do this because... It's an adventure. All the NPCs are available. We can immediately start doing everything. All the different game modes that are available to us. You guys know this if you've been playing the game since season one or season four or whatever. Yes, I live once. An artifact I think you The Nephilim. That fool actually killed me. Of course, this was not my first time stepping through that door. Let's go hire a companion. We're a sorcerer, so our whole point is to stand at distance and kill people. But we're gonna go take a scoundrel. Why? Because we're just gonna have some fun with this. We're just gonna go. Yeah, okay, cool. Shut up. Uh, so the difficulty is now at normal. I can raise the difficulty to hard and whatever I wanna do, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna get a few levels. Um, one of the best ways to really level up pretty quickly is to go to where is it? Bastion's Keep and well, I can do the ruins of Sesharon and get the cube, but it's not what I'm looking for. Oh my, I haven't been I haven't been to this game in a while. Ah, the Halls of Agony. Was it the Halls of Agony? Ah, I don't I don't remember where the hell I wanna go. I don't believe it was the Halls of Agony. Um, oh my. Okay, we'll just go to the butcher. I guess we'll just see. We'll just see what what the game brings. So let's not dilly dally. Just go with it. It's a normal difficulty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the place, the halls of agony. We have just arrived in Tristram, and I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken down monastery. Hardly fit for the king of Condorus. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was so intent on this becoming our new seat of power. Okay, that's because Diablo was there. Alright, magic missile is linked to our left mouse cursor and right is just shoot the wand. So... Okay, for some reason... 
Okay, hold on a moment. I can't seem to stop my character from moving. Why key binding is toggle map to go blah 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 blah. Four standstill is W. Okay. Okay, I guess I changed this sometime in one of my previous playthroughs. Here we go. My power grows. Okay, for those of you who are wondering, it um this is not going to be easy because we're going to we're challenging a much later level in the campaign at a much earlier stage of our playthrough. So we're just going to try and survive. We're going to die quite a bit. I have found dark spells within the cathedral, written in Archbishop Lazarus's own hand, explaining how to summon them. I pray that no other copies exist, so that this terrible knowledge will be lost forever. Okay. Um, we could actually start on the adventures a little bit. I'm just waiting to get a few levels before we... The fetid, pallid malaise has fallen over the manor we now call home. Young Albrecht seems to be enjoying himself in our new home, however. Perhaps I am simply suffering from an imbalance of humors brought on by the recent change of climate. We could start off in the hard difficulty right away, but I just want to get a few levels before we do something like that. So this is what I was saying that's going to be... A little difficult. We'll have to we'll have to be very keen about our actions, be careful, you know, stay on our feet and get the job done as fast as we can, because otherwise we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. But it's worth it. If you get a couple of levels under our belt, we can just raise the difficulty and immediately start gaining more and more and more and more and more. So this is just disgusting. So the Halls of Agony. Okay, I think we, we left the Halls of Agony um, to a previous map, so we're just going to go back. Actually, can I... Okay, can I just jump... Yeah, okay, let's go to the Halls of Agony level 3, guys. Do better. Now, obviously, because I'm on the normal difficulty, life is a lot easier, but if I was on a harder difficulty, the game would obviously be just, just murder me in a couple of hits. That's not the point, though. We're just gonna... The bestial hellions are demons that can be summoned from the burning hells with the aid of foul sorcery. They are given to chasing down their foes and attacking them with savage fangs. This usually allows some spare time for their masters to craft their dark spell work and finish off the victim. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure you guys understand by now, my whole idea is to get a mass of enemies in my sights and just kill everybody. And the one way to do that is to go to the Halls of Agony and use the density of enemies to get quick, quick experience. And that's what we're doing. We're basically running around looking for enemies and just killing them all. Didn't see that coming, did you? That's the point. We just get a couple of levels uh, under our belt. We can just load up. Go. And now, I know that some people start off on hard difficulty, including me on several characters. I'm just being... I'm just playing it a little safe because I'm not honestly uh, built a solid sorcerer build before. I've done all the others. I've just not done this one. So I'm just being really careful. That's that's it, really. You guys want to go crazy and go um, to... Sorry about that. Go to a higher difficulty level from the very beginning. Feel free. Doesn't matter. You can have lots of fun.
and it will be cool. Now we also have Frost Nova, uh, which I should use occasionally. Again, we're just trying to get some levels under our belt. So the more the merrier, have fun. Oh, by the way, West March is also a great place to start off in if you want. Just to, the the leveling will be a bit difficult because still waiting. I need arcane power. Need more arcane power. If my old masters could see me now. And that's another point of getting a high density of kills because um, you can just get a huge experience bonus. Like twice, twice. You just have to get more and more monsters in one area and just go crazy. It's, um, it's pretty amazing. By the way, guys, you can also just play the quick hit refresh game, which is um, do a map very quickly, then refresh, come back in, have fresh mobs, blah, 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 blah. You can do that, too. Um, that'll just give you a reset. If you don't want to map run too much, that's a really nice way to, you know, get more mobs and kill more if you want to be efficient that way. It's really up to you how you do it. Oh boy. Need more time. Yeah, that's why I said it's a little bit dangerous if you're not careful. You just completely end up in a lot of trouble. But for the most part, we're okay. Need more arcane power. In the beginning, we're gonna get these equipped so that we can increase our attack power. Remember, attack power is damage. So. Diablo has a very simple ATK policy, which is attack power is damage. Enjoy. I don't have enough arcane power. You want to pile on the combo damage. You just you just want to pile on destruction, combo damage, everything. Your defenses are nothing. Still waiting. I need arcane power. I'm injured. That's why we're just running around. We're getting to dominant again. There we go, 2.25% extra. You're just going to get to 50 kills and you can get level 6, level 7, level 8. Just get to as many levels as possible pretty quickly. And the reason we do this is because once you get to as many levels as possible, you get to play the Paragon levels where 
Leveling really gets intense very fast. Now we picked up the Nephelum Valor, which is a great find. Need more time. I could probably go and take a look at my um, skills. Here we go. Bye bye. Didn't see power. that coming, did you? I'm just gonna use my generator skills a little bit. And uh, this is to go fight the, the uh, butcher, so we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go to level two. We could probably go to the the um, outcast or the highlands of the barbarians. Um, that was not the upper realm of infernal fate. It was uh, Ray Hollow Islands. The Ruins of Sesheron, yeah. Probably go there and take care of it too. But that's okay, we're doing good here. Now okay, we get... Not ready yet. Yeah, we got champion monsters here. This is the only thing you have to be careful of when it comes to the adventure mode because you're going to meet these monsters. Um, they're going to totally crucify you. And they're like champion elites and they just. They totally destroy you if you're not careful. You need more time. I don't have enough arcane power. There we go. Kill them all. So we're using our Death Star ray gun to just <laughs> kill everything and just move on. But here we go again. Death Star ray gun, guys. Need more arcane power. I wish I could do that. We got him. And we got a rare equipment as well. There's our heart being telling us, Hey, you're in bloody load of trouble. I'm healed. That's okay. Go, go, go. And it's about time that we... Uh, we'll gain one more level and we'll do something else. Just... Now, again, at this point, if you're just tired of, um, you know, beating around the bushes, you can just go to another map and the respawn and the um, the monsters should reset. If they don't, you can just restart the adventure game and the monsters will reset. So, so this is a place we didn't go to before. Yeah, if you want to reset it, just start another adventure game or just raise the difficulty, lower the difficulty. That's a... There we go. Perfection. Good. Now get out of here and we'll go to Cathedral level 4. We're just going to jump maps here. We're just going to go to the different maps, enjoy, beat some stuff up. We can even go to the, the Forbidden Plains or whatever the hell it's called and uh, you know, beat up on a lot of these guys. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, let's just go this way. Yeah, no monsters here. Of course not. Your defenses are nothing. Mr. 
mischief is this? Not ready yet. We're taking you out as fast as possible to prevent. Now remember that even if you just sit over there slaughtering the mobs, they're not going to give you extra experience because resurrected skeletons don't award extra experience. Yeah, it's to stop you guys from just keep grinding against the same thing. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's not such a great map. So what we're going to do is we'll go to... Um, let's try what we were thinking about. Let's go to the ruins of Sasharan and murder ourselves. Yeah, we're already level 7, so you can see we're picking up the levels pretty quickly. I don't want to run a too big a video, so we're just going to try and uh, um, get as many levels as possible. Oh, let's, let's update our equipment. Let's go. We have Lyric's Crown, which generates 15 per head, and blah, 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 blah. We'll go use that. Yeah, so now we have some good... Um, we have a decent weapon, we have a bow, which we don't plan on using. Let's take a look at our skills. We have Magic, Missile, and Shock Pulse, which releases medium range pulse of 3, unpredictable charge of electricity with 194. This deals um, 325 as in Magic Missile. Let's see how that works out, shall we? Now, yeah, it's a question of what you believe looks cooler. And it's not explosive, so it's just one, and I want to kill as many as possible, as quickly as possible, so I'll do that. Ray of Frost is awesome, we can reduce the channeling power to do even more damage. We'll do that, and we also have Arcane Orb, which is an AOE spell. So, we're going to set this here. Right, and we're going to see what we can do with Frost Nova. I'm not very impressed with Frost Nova. Um, so I'm just going to go with Arcane Orb. And now that's really how customizable the game is in terms of skills and stuff. So we can do that. We can totally do that. Baal has invaded Sesheron, but we will fight until we are no more. Okay. For we are all that stands between him and our sacred mountain. And I swear, by the blood of Bokathos, hell will pay dearly for each of our deaths. Okay. So that's, that's basically what that is. That's the arcane ball hurl. You just send it through and enjoy now mind you that the smell of wild Gazra is terrifying but at least okay but basically mind you uh this this map is much harder when you increase the difficulty we're just having a lot of fun You can see that we can actually gain levels very quickly if we do this. Um, 
you guys can, of course, try to finish all the ad adventure goals, and that's like an even faster way because you get a whole bunch of experience doing the adventures, but I'm just doing the grinding right now, just as an introduction, you know, before we start cheating the whole game and just jumping to the, to the next part of it. So we're just going to keep going. Okay. Greetings. I am Abed. You, sir. All right. What the hell can you do for me? I managed to befriend one of my Calvisan. Bless him. As he screamed his land, we can't cry over the past one. <laughs> Bloody coward. Wait. You can't mean to leave me here. I'm going with you. Okay. So here we are. One of the. Um, we're one of the signature events of the game, which is the cursed chest. So once we click on that, we'll have to achieve an objective. And we'll get experience for it. So kill everything is the general objective. So that's what we do. We kill everything. We will oblige. Uh, come on, come on, come on, guys. You dare attack me? Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. People have compared me to the great historians and philosophers. Bas, Misra, Jerem, Valte. Humility prevents me from commenting on such things, of course. Of course, jackass. False humility, the bane of human life. Ah, we lost the timer, guys. I think I should have used the frost weapon a little bit more. All right, we're still gonna get, we're gonna get some good stuff. So we'll take the, take the weapons and stuff. Now, this is obviously one way that you guys can gain experience. There are better ways to do it, of course. There we go. That's that's like one other way of doing it. You just kill elites as quickly as fast as possible. In the eastern kingdom of Hegistan. I like the Diablo lore, but we're not going to spend our time here listening to this. So this is one way that you guys can gain experience pretty quickly. Use adventure mode and just, you know, start killing the monsters around and you can pile up the XP. The other way to do it um, is to actually finish off the adventures themselves. Which is what we'll be doing very, 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 very soon. Yeah, we start getting rare equipments here. Um, we're going to lose our Nephilim Valor very soon. So let's take a look at what we have here. Alright. Mm. How does that feel? I need Arcane Power. All right, we're doing well now. Let's see. Put on our boots, which have vitality, dexterity, movement, speed. What is important for us is intelligence, because that gives us a lot of resistance and also damage. And, of course, vitality. We don't care about the other stuff. Um, yes. Yes. Damage, damage, damage. Increase your damage as much as possible. 
Okay, we're done. We can get rid of all that for crafting material and as such. If you can pile these guys up, um, get some kills pretty fast. Okay. Time to start doing something, guys. Let's go to this go to new Tristram. The first one is the Cursed Chamber of the Bone. Let's go. We're gonna start completing the adventures. Get the Horadri cash and get experience very quickly. Right, inspect the cursed chest. Okay, before we do that, oh, we can't. Why not? I'm not in combat anymore. Why can't I inspect? Okay, well. Uh, ranged attack, additional poison. No, the poison is good. Max out the damage. Okay, here we are. Shock Pulse has explosive bulls. So enemies explode and deal. Okay, let's do that. And step two. So I have Ray of Frost. We have Diamond Skin Transform. Your skin to Diamond and Absorb. Up to 40% of life from incoming attacks. Yeah, I still don't care. Wave of force is discharge a wave of pure energy. It's 90% weapon damage to nearby enemies. It costs a little bit of arcane energy, but I do like it. So we're going to keep wave of force. That's pretty cool. Arcane arm still does not have a rune. We're going to see how that works. Let's... Yeah, that's how it works. That's pretty awesome. Oh, it, it has no cooldown, so we can just go crazy with that one, can't we? I like the non-cooldown stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see how this works. We have a hundred arcane power. Let's do it. All right, there we go. I'm just warming up. All right. Yeah, but it's the location of these guys that's gonna... Okay, so we gotta defeat... I'm unstoppable. That's it, we did it. Okay, thank you very much. We have a new skill slot, it's passive. Okay, let's unlock the chest. We get two chests because... We killed everybody within the allotted time. We have a passive skill. Just do that. Uh, blur. Decrease damage taken. Uh, you deal two enemies farther than 30 yards. Ah. Okay. Or we'll just take blur because that way we can reduce the damage taken, which would be awesome. Only do respectable damage anyway. Next one, clear the scavenger den. I hate these ones. I had the ones with the clear den stuff because you have to go to the second floor is a pain in the ass. Yeah, there's the thing. Yeah, we need a better weapon, but I'm not I'm not really interested in any of that. I just want to get to Scavenger then you want to finish those objectives as much as possible, but if there's if there's anybody in the way feel free to kill him he hasn't been dead long. Let's go him must be near. Come here, you I'll blast the gold out of you.
Yeah, you guys are dead. Thanks. Done. That, that, that gets you experience as well, killing champion monsters. You want to kill as many elites as possible in the beginning of the game in order to get as many levels as possible. Yeah, we, we don't need to clear any of this. So we don't care. Let's just go. Go, 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 go. The objective is at the end. Focus, 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 focus. I'm so good, I astound myself. There we go, done. Mind you guys, in normal difficulty, these guys are easy. They're not easy when it comes to higher difficulty levels. They will kill you in one hit if you don't have the resist. And that's one of the reasons we're not actually going to go to Torment immediately. Remember that you have to enjoy the game, right? There's no point in dying a good bazillion times to gain a few levels because you kill one monster. It just does not make sense. Okay. Mm, let's see. Scandal vanishes in a cloud of smoke. Yeah, blind people. It's all about damage, 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 Remember that as a sorcerer, you're like utterly shameless when it comes to equipping stuff, so you get a better uh, a pair of boots, a better something, anything, just, just, just equip it, you know. We use all weapons, we use everything that we can get our hands on, we just go crazy with it. That's the point of being a shameless sorcerer. I'm so good, I astound myself. It's like there. Just check for uh, stuff that you can use. Oh, look at that. Grants critical hit, grants two arcane power. Very cool. I'll take that. Mm. Intelligence is equal to more damage. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, I should... Uh... Yeah, you got a damage bonus, so we're going to use that. The dagger has the best stats in terms of single weapon damage, so we're just gonna use that one. We don't have a big movement speed, so we go with it. If only they could see me now. That's it, done. Six. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. We need to finish this AA sap. That's the whole point. Alright, that's it. Right, job done? No? Oh, lovely. My power grows. Done. So that's the thing, every time you complete these tasks you get a bonus level and you can also finish everything and then get the uh, Horadri cachet and uh, bonus equipment. Remember that spiders are dangerous, especially mutated ones in large numbers spewing poison. Be very careful, people! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, boss, 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 dead. I wonder what the spider caught. And we got the goblin. Killing the goblin is like really important because you can get lots of bonuses in the beginning. Crafting materials and everything. It just makes the game that much easier. Especially when um, you're new. 
you're just doing it for the first uh, first couple of your first couple of uh, hours into the game is good stuff. Okay, now we got a wand. Yay, our damage goes up. You can see the damage going up right there, and everything's cumulative on the skills anyway. Um, he says more damage. Okay, fine, fine. We'll keep it. We'll keep it, you bum. Okay, more for that. Mm. If if okay, the, the the general rule of thumb is if it improves your damage, you wear it. Simple. Okay, that's the idea. That's why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, we're just going through everything to make sure there's damage bonuses. If there is, we equip it, and we got us. So you can actually see that our sorcerer now looks um, more like a well-to-do peasant, and we can kill pretty fast as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you douchebags. Yeah, you want to kill these guys. You want to bunch them up and kill them together. It makes life way better. Bunch them up and kill them together. Of course, be careful that you don't bunch them up with uniques. Now, if you do that, life is going to get very hard very quickly. You may also die, but that uh, fortune favors the brave, you know, as they say. Especially in Diablo 2, um, Diablo 3. So just go right ahead and do it. But be warned, you will die if you bunch up uniques and try to kill them without the right armor, equipments, resists, and everything. Once you have um, successfully reached a higher level and you have all your uniques and rares, then you can just go crazy. Right, right now we're going to go fight the first boss monster. Um, yes, I know it's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea, but we're gonna do it anyway because we're crazy adventurers. Heroes are not fond with timidity, guys. Let's go, 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 go. We really need some boots that increase our movement speed. Um, I think so. Right now our character is level 11, so we already reached level 11 while on our way to quickly gain some ground. So let's do this. We already kill a boss. Let's go. Chamber of Queen Arane. Hey, Queenie! And at lower levels, bosses are not very difficult, particularly on normal difficulty. Not that hard. Slow her down for the count. And electrocute her. You'll notice the status of slow that affects her when you do that. That's because that's the status effect bonus of our skill. That's what you want in there. Okay, pants have less damage. Um, bye bye. Oh, more damage. I just look at the damage clause and just go damage, 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 damage. If it's not damage, you don't want it. Simple. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. 29, 20 strength. Strength does not contribute to damage, and that's a problem. Ooh, 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 that's a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, so you want to just go back to... Just use... Go back to town. Get rid of our stuff. Safety at last. You have not only my eternal thanks, but also the thanks of the world at large for rescuing me. I don't think the world at large gives a damn, man. Okay, we go back, and what we do is we very quickly take all of that and check out if we need if we could use some of these two handers, of course. Impossible. 
Oh, look at that. We get some great, great stuff here. We get some great stuff. We can use the sickle. It's two-handers for a necromancer. That's interesting. It's a good weapon. Alright, go. Wait, why are we here? We finished this. We finished that. Let's do the last one. The Triune Reborn, whatever that is. We got two more bounties and we're done, guys. Destroy the Triune Monuments. Where the hell are those? Dude, 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 point the way, point the way, point the way, point the way, point the way. Just point the way, people. If only they could now, see let's now. take a look at the Chapter 1 objectives. Complete Nephilim Rift. Complete 5 Bounties. Um, socket 5 gems into your gear, raise the blacksmith to level 10. These are all the chapter 1 objectives, of course. Raise the mystic to level 10, blah blah blah. Kill Maltail, kill Osmodon. Okay. Reach level 50. Hi! Double. Long ago, five clans of the Umbaru tribe left the Tiganzi and ventured north. After their transformation into Kazra, only a few elders were still able to use magic, and they passed it down to their cleverest children. These are the Khazra Shaman, and they rank among the most dangerous of their race. I'm unstoppable! Alright, done. One down. Here they come. All dead. Thanks for coming. Bye. That's a that's a dungeon. More. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm so good, I astound myself. Come on, come on, come on. Come on up, come on, up, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, good. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? It was not there. Let's go. There was one up there. Try to find it. I'm just warming up. I love to increase the radius of that blast. Um... Uh, in the future. I love that skill. Now you actually have the skills to increase the difficulty of the game which we can do. Um, Your grave awaits. And remember that the touchstone principle is that we only increase the equips if there is a damage bonus. We're not interested in all the other stuff at this moment. I'm unstoppable. That is of course subject to change. Um, we may we may choose a different build based on how our stats play out later on. You're a teleporter now, you're dead. Your grave awaits. And we are now level 13. You guys can see we're actually progressing at a decentish pace. The third way to really rack on levels is to get a clan friend to just take you to a Nephilim Rift and just... That's it, really. You'll level up to 50, 60 just in no time flat. That's one way to do it. But of course, doing that also means that you skip a lot of the fun content. Honestly, Bliss has done a decent job. Okay, that's it. We're done. Open up. Get more rewards. Now, this is the cool thing about adventures, that not only do the end adventures give you a reward, um, doing the adventures individually gives you some reward as well. So it's not just the Horatri Cachet, 
It's all the cool stuff that you can do even without it. Okay. Before we lose... Before we lose our Nephilim Valor, let's try to get as much bonus experience and damage as we can out of it. Isn't that... That's right. It will unleash terrible, terrible, terrible blasts of energy upon people. Terrible! How does that feel? Feels like shit. Let's kill him. Go, 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 go. Oh, headless monkey. Royal quarters. Who's in here? I'm unstoppable. Now, okay, hold on. Didn't see that coming, did you? Waste not one now, right? Just let's, let's just kill him all. Kill Boreax. So Boreax's ass is up there, so let's go get him. I love the destruction bonus just too in this game. So Mayhem generates its own bonuses to so just kill lots of furniture, break stuff, have fun. Okay, there's a guy named Boreak here. Let's kill him quickly. Uh, I'm sorry. What? Okay. say honestly that was just strange there's a new here's a new monster the monster skeletal sentry I think that's a new monster at least I haven't seen it in my previous playthrough so I've seen this one though spine hearers spine here has been around for a while if only they could see me now I love this is this a new map though of Leorix manner because I don't remember playing s such a vast and di diverse map on my season 9 playthrough. I don't think I played season 10 so I can't be sure about that but we're done. Return to Tyrael in New Tristram. That's it guys. Go back, claim your um, bounty. We're done. We'll get another level then rinse, repeat, continue. You'll be level 60 in no time. Stick out or whatever. Thank you very much. Reach level 14. There you go. Thank you for coming here. There are many bounties to undertake. These are stuff that you give the blacksmith and the jeweler, and they can forge certain um, set items and special items out of it. Okay, so look at this stuff. Again, I'm not going to change it because the damage bonus does not exist. I don't care if it's great, it's uber, whatever equipment it is. It's not a damage bonus. Don't tell me if it is, we'll take it. It's that simple. Okay, let's get a Hedrick. Uh, he's gonna learn how to use that. All items are repaired. Salvage everything. That's it. We get um, we get parts here. You can see this here for crafting and for bounty. We have various parts, and you can use that later on to forge cool stuff. Okay, we can forge some interesting weapon, maybe. No? Okay. Uh, let's see. Which is the one with the highest one hand damage? Let's try that. We're just gonna try randomly. Let's see what we come up with. Oh, cool. 37% plus. Let's try one more. And that costs gold, by the way. But you are getting enough gold by going on adventures. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Resource reduction is something I will gladly take. You can now. Use everything to everything to everything to everything. This is our stash. 
And that's something called the armory. I wonder what that is. This is new. You're not saved an armory set yet. Okay, so we can save an armory set in here and equip it very quickly for different reasons, different occasions. If I come across something um, that works like that, I will let you guys know. I am not sure where that other guy went. Um, the one who was whom I saved. Just one door here. I guess they modified the map. Yeah, they have modified the map a little bit. Take a look. This is the Book of Cain. This is the stash. This is the removed gem. Blah 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 blah. That's the artisan. Uh, this is wardrobe. Which is opens up the Diablo shop, allows you to apply whatever cosmetics you want. If you have any pets, you can equip them. Portrait frames, equip them. Yes, we have wings and we have pennants, we have everything, we look like monkeys. Um, Now these are the packs that we own, we don't own and everything. So we don't care about all this. So we're just gonna forget that. And look at us. Look at us transformed. That's us. With a with a banner, with wings and stuff, and there's nothing holy about us, and there's a pet. What more do you want? Okay, we're done. Let's get on with it. We finished uh, we finished one adventure, so we'll go do another one. Let's go to Act 2. The first one, clear the rules. Go. You guys can keep doing this and you can level up uh, pretty quickly, pretty swiftly. Now again, I would say if you don't give a sh- With some reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell, for they are the greatest of the demons, and even whispering their names seems to poison the air around me. You got some gems. ...into the lesser evils, Belial, Asmodan, Juriel, and Andaril. And the prime evils, Mephisto, Baal, and Diablo. You have to love the chutzpah of the sorcerer. sorcerer. It, it's, it's not really anything along the lines of, I'm a hero and I will save you. It's just, how the, how the hell do you guys have the gumption to attack me? Die. It's, it's just a totally cool attitude to have when you're a super powerful dude. Yeah, die, die, die. Stupid flies, I hate them. We go. Nephilimella. I would rather not discuss this sand wasp. These overgrown insects wouldn't be notable whatsoever if not for their exceptionally poisonous stings, which, alas, killed my young apprentice. I thought he would be more careful when I sent him to retrieve a sample from the hive, but <laughs> his parents did not understand my perspective. Uh-huh, because you're like a cowardly wallet is what you are. A hard fight. Another one, thank you. Let's go. Crossbow is two hand, you want one uh, you want a source orb. You can do your thing, and everybody else can do their thing, and everything else, and everything else. Oh boy, more champion, more champion, more champion, more champion, more champion, more champion, more champion. Die, 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 die. Thank you very much. Yeah, we want to get to the next level ASAP. Seventeen demons are Belial's favored servants, and he has granted them some of his skill in cunning and illusion. Deceivers will cloak themselves in the familiar forms of their enemies, companions, and friends, waiting to strike when the moment is opportune. It is only then that their true forms are revealed.
more Nephilim Valor. The, you need you, if you stack this up, it's a lot of bonus experience, bonus damage. Sorry, more kills, more experience. You know how it works. But it's really long-winded. Then they ambush, leaving little more than bones behind them. Okay, we gotta be careful, guys. Oh boy. Be careful of the exploding molten's that can just tear you apart. You know, you may you may not even expect it to, but it can just tear you apart. So be careful about that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We have We are now level fourteen. So far, season two has some, I guess, new monsters that I have never seen before. They may have existed since season eleven. I'm not entirely sure of it, but it's only it's the same game, really. It's the same game. Um, but some of the maps, to me, seem to be new. It may not be so, but I find the experience to be slightly refreshing. I like it, and I've never had much of a problem with the Diablo two games to begin with. I always like them. I've never compared them as a uh, anything except what they are. This is a standalone game by themselves. I've always taken it on that merit, and I have liked it. I've never, I never made it a habit to compare them to X Y Z games um, of a different genre or you know previous categories or previous systems or what whatever. I don't care about that. I just care about am I having fun with this? And yes, that's the answer. You know, barrier shield. So, barrier, uh, the surround yourself in a barrier of ice that reduces damage and melee attackers are chilled or frozen for three seconds. Okay, I'll probably change that when I go to. Um, set my skills after I'm done with this. I'm just not interested in looking at it at the moment. I'm just busy finding other stuff to kill. Where are the three enemies? Please don't tell me I have to go somewhere crazy to... No, no, it's a champion! My knowledge increases. That's it. So now we're level 15. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Kill Samash. Samash, right? That's his name? Sam... Whatever his name is. Kill enemies and no Karnas kill Samash. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the uh, stuff that we have. Cause a shard of ice that explodes an impact, causing enemies to be frozen and take damage as cold. Okay, I still like Shock Pulse, uh, even with the explosions, pretty cool. Spectral Blade, some of the Spectral Blade strikes all enemies have to do. Oh, hoo, 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 we will take it. And Electric Q, Lightning Arch from your fingertips. And you can hit up to two enemies at a time at 138. I don't care about it. I will take this, it's pretty cool. Ray of Frost is now number. Is a temperature gen freeze, increases the slow amount for 80, but. It raises the cost again, so I don't really want to do that. Arcane Torrent. Hurl a barrage of arcane projectiles to all enemies near their impact location. Deal 400 damage. Up to 1010 damage is arcane. Isn't it this continuous? You just can keep hurling it like a fool and then it just keeps going. Sounds like 
This sounds like a much better thing to use, doesn't it? What's the point? Yeah, this has got area of damage because it hits all enemies within five yards of the first enemy hit. Damage is higher. There's a 10% chance to freeze. You, not so much. And we don't have any other... Okay, we don't have any other runes, so we can't really speak about it right now. So we'll just go with that. Arcane Orb has uh, Obliteration. Uh. Okay. We'll fire more, no problem. I like that. Wave of Force now has impactful wave. Rolls projectiles back to their shooter. Knocks back enemies, slows them, blah 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 blah. So it's got all of that, which is cool. Unleash a twister of pure energy that deals so much damage over six seconds to everything in its path, which is nice. But, in its path is a problem. Impactful wave just does damage to everything, period. Ice armor sucks. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not even going to care about this. Yeah, no, I'm not looking for defense right now. I'm going to put Arcane Torment in there. Ooh, I got first Nova with a rune, which is 100% chance. Ooh. So if I kill the guy, he can release another Frost Nova. Okay. Diamond skin is transform your stuff, and we can reduce damage by 80%. We're not so big on the damage part right now. I want to take our King Torrent, but this one just does a shitload of damage, so let's just take it. We got evocation, reduce all cooldowns by 20. Do we have cooldowns on none of our... Oh, we do have impactful wave. Wait a minute, why do we have... Wait, 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 wait... Oh! Oh, oh man... It's because of this. It's because of the rune, which sucks. Ugh... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna replace that with Arcane Torrent. We're just gonna try because that that particular rune it, 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 we got we got better stuff here. So see that that's the twister. So we got some better stuff. So we're gonna just try to skip that. It is said that he manipulated Asmodan into revolt against the prime evils. This began the Burning Hell's civil war, which ended with the dark exile of the prime evils to our mortal realm. Okay, I haven't tried the spectral. That's not so great and all, but 15 yards in front of you. It's not a lot of damage, but if it's in a mob, it could really cut him down pretty hard. I'm also assuming that I could just do Arc Interrence um, and do the same thing, so... Hmm. Wondering if I, should sh if I should have kept the wave thing. I don't know. Let's see. Oh wow, that is a nice impactation. It's not bad. It's really not bad. You can't leave us here. Calm yourself. I will get you out of these cages. No, I won't. Sorry. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, but I think I want to use this in combination with. with the wave force, so I'll probably... I don't know. That's another one. Here's the benefit of this particular uh, spell. Spectral Blade, it just kills everything within that particular 
range. So let's let's just try that here. This is such a good job though. Yeah, I'm not too I'm not too keen on it, so I'll probably change that. Let's get let's go change that from Spectral Blade to Yeah, let's change it to Electrocute. We'll try that out. And as a skill, I can Torrent is nice, but I love my Wave Force. I do, even if it doesn't have the ability to. No, it's not bad. And I can release multiple Torrents as well. Okay, this is Electrocute. I feel like Emperor Palpatine. It's it's not really good, you know. I don't like it. At least not right now. So I'm gonna get I can normally put it there. Yeah, I like the missile system. And I'm not gonna use a rune on Arcane Arms. I, I don't want the cooldown. Sorry. Here we go, man! Take your hits and die! Got it. Gotcha. Didn't see that coming, did you? Done. Okay, we're done here. We're gonna go quickly to kill Scar Talon while we still have Frenzied. Because my attack rate has been greatly increased. So this is how you just keep progressing very quickly, 60 guys. You'll be done in like one play session if, if, if you know. How do um, if you keep moving? If you be efficient, you just get that done very quickly. I'm just gonna get all these guys into one place. Come on! I'm unstoppable. That's it. Okay, follow the arrow. Follow the arrow. Follow the arrow. Follow the arrow. Now this is the thing with Electrocute that it just jumps, jumps, jumps to everybody. And that's not a monster standing next to me, guys. That's the pet. So... We should be okay using it to generate lots of power. And then using it to cast spells. So that should be a decent system. Because... Uh, Level 16, well done. Azul al Khazar promised that he would lead his followers from sinful Chaldeum to a lily strewn paradise at the heart of the desert, and that the journey would transform them beyond all recognition. That certainly did. Judging by the condition of the Nord corpses found weeks later, Azul kept at least one of his promises. Yeah. Get out of the way! Are we fighting two bosses? Yes, we are. Dead. And that's one of the one of the good things about fighting in normal. We can actually kill more, but we are reaching the point where diminishing returns just does does apply. So. You really want to stick to the bounties until you get to the higher levels where you can just whack monsters 
in mass and just get enough experience to um, catapult yourself into the Paragon levels. But again, Paragon levels are themselves not so easy to obtain, guys, okay? Regardless of what other people say, it's not so simple. Cool, done. Let's go to the next one, the Cursed Pit. Now, you don't have to kill the bosses in the maps where the bounties don't specifically mention that you need to do so. Um, so, it's really up to you. If you if you just want to go ahead and do it, feel free, but it's not required. Shoot three, uh, raise attacks, close an impact. No, I'll take it. Enter the storm holes, cleanse the Cursed Chest. Simple. Let's go. The storm holes are another great place to level, by the way, because you get you get all of these monsters uh, coming at you very quickly, and you have to deal with them, and you get a lot of experience cumulative. So just this is one of the places that you can remember that you can level up pretty fast. Just get rid of them very quickly. I'm just warming up. Yeah, if you guys can increase the damage radius of that, would be really cool. Okay, let's go, let's go. We got stuff to do. Now, range on that is pretty cool. I'm just gonna kill the boss. I'm so good, I astound myself. I believe with this soul stone, I will finally be able to unlock the true power of man. In ancient times, our kind possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. With the soul stone, I will be able to elevate myself to the strength of my ancestors. Yeah, and if you don't clear the molten area, they will elevate you the, to the status of dead. I'm so good, I astound myself. Could see me now. You see why playing this game special modes is pretty cool because you can get How does 
bonuses, and we did it. That's it, we did it guys. We can get bonuses, kill as many as you want, kill 130. We get a massacre bonus. It's cool, we get lots of items, which is even cooler. And that's it, life is fun. Okay, let's go. Next one is kill Vidian. Who the, who, who the heck is Vidian? I never killed a Vidian before. Yeah, I didn't play the game much in season 11. So... I have heard troubling news. Another cult has emerged. There is no end to the number of rituals these cultists will Yeah, I wonder if this will be the next um, expansion of Diablo 3. The process, ascension. A if at all such a thing no will be there. Them obedience. But mark my words, these abominations have not ascended. They live only to suffer and hate until they meet their final death. It's actually a pretty interesting level. Temple of the First Spawn. I'm pretty sure that we can get some uh, good experience from this. If only they could see me now. Yeah, you get a speed bonus for crushing stuff, so go ahead. I'm unstoppable. Also do remember to pick up loot guys. Hit a cursed chest, let's go do that. Are yep, in normal mode. We have we serve no guarantees for hardcore or any of the higher difficulty levels. Your defenses are nothing. We got nine seconds, guys. My knowledge increases. And we did it. Yes, we did. And we got next level two, I think. Yep, we did. Okay, let's open up. So the events just allow us to level up very quickly. Remember that this is a fresh character. If you have an old character in your season and you're just starting a new one, um, just give the good equips and you can level up even faster. But as a new character, you just want to take it easy, do it right. Anything that increases damage is good. If you don't see a green on the damage, go get it. Move on. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Where is the temple of blah 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 blah? I fight dirty. How does that feel? I'm gonna go ahead and drop some crap, and we're gonna take. Let me just check. Is there more damage? Swap it. Um, two hand. No, thank you. I know the damage will be. 
Yes, I know the damage would be more, guys. I'm just. I'm just warming up. You want to really level, uh, you want to really get your charges back to maximum so that you can, sorry, your spell power back to maximum so that you can continue with your killing spree. Now, in higher difficulties, these guys are really a pain. Come on, come on, there's the level 2 entrance. I do want to wrap up this gameplay video. Didn't see that coming, did you? We really have to get arcane regeneration expertise as fast as possible because let, let's be let's be perfectly honest that's what matters to this character it's about speed um, in which he regenerates power and in which yeah speed at which he regenerates power and uh, speed at which he can cast spells that's about the whole thing really. was thwarted in Chaldeum. That's our history, by the way. Asmodan in Arya's winter. Their deaths shook the seven hells. And they were merely the harbinger for the return of Diablo as the prime evil. I can't Where carry his power. Was unmatched. He was defeated. And the angel of death followed. Who could have done this? Me. Just me. Nobody special. I'm so good, I astound myself. You guys do realize that while you're saying that, I'm just killing all of you. Alright, done. Let's go. Yeah, I'm actually getting a bit impatient now. Where is... If only they could see me now. There's nothing here? No thanks. We do need a better weapon, just not... I'm so good, I astound myself. And we're gonna level up, so... Okay, I'm gonna check up there, maybe that's the level 2 slot. Oh boy. Okay, guys. Let's do a little bit of chain, 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 chain. Change is good. Flame blades. Each enemy hit increase the maximum. Is the damage of your fire spells up to a maximum of 30? 
It's like 210 basically. Okay, but it's still not so great though. Shock pulse. Three balls of fire. Okay, let's try that. Okay, we'll try it, we'll try it. Ray of Frost now has nothing. Arcane Orb, nothing. In Torrent has Flame Ward. You take 15% less damage from attacks. Every second you channel increases the amount by 5. Okay, it becomes... Becomes Flame. Okay. Alright, fine. We'll go with it. Impactful Wave, we don't want it. Twister... Okay, no thank you. What else do you have for us? Ice Armor, Storm Arm, beat yourself on electrical energy, shocking an enemy. Last 10 minutes. I mean, that's just one enemy though, right? Just one enemy. No biggie. Explosive Blast is gather an infusion of energy around you and explodes after 1.5 seconds to all enemies within so many, so many yards. Okay. Well, this is great and all. I still can't use that. Explosive Blast is fine. I, I still like Impactful Wave. I really, I'm in love with it, so I'm gonna keep it. But <gasps> now we have a new one, which is increase all damage by 10, decrease armor. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Increase my damage, please. I love my damage. Let's go. I'm so good, I astound myself. That's not nice. There's a cooldown on Explosive Blast, of course. Your defenses are nothing. Bye, Archon. My bags are full. Okay, we really should. Oh wow. Okay, we're gonna go back and just dump our stuff, guys. So we're already level 19, and. Uh, I think that's just about under two hours of gameplay. Again, remember that if you if you want, you can just have your friend take you to a Nephilim Rift and do a high level Rift and that's it. You're gonna be 60 within one hit. But doing a fresh character, no help at all. This is one surefire way of leveling up pretty quickly. Oh. New one hand damage um, increases by 12%. And our one hand damage increases further by 5%. Of course, we'll take it. Whatever increases our damage is going to be our favorite equip. Simple as that. I'm so good, I astound myself. And because you can kill stuff like that, it's easier to get the bonuses for movement as well. Makes your game a lot easier. Basically, the whole idea is get area of effect attacks and kill everything. That's how you get the bonuses for movement. Hey, Sanctum of Blood, we need to kill somebody. Okay. Let's there go. you are. Don't tell me that you never suspected I was more than what I seemed. It was the only way that I could get close to you. Who the hell are you? Now, we're about to get much closer. But who are you? Yeah, I'm just gonna kill you if you don't mind. The blood of your brethren has given me strength. Soon, yours will as well. Still waiting. How does that feel? 
Oh, it feels great. Alright, man. I'm just gonna waste you. Bye bye. That's it. We did it. We can get close to the boss, just use the arcane thing and it just kills everybody. Okay. Let's go back to Tyrael because we finished, well, everything. So just go back, get your um, Haradra Keshe and you can go on to the next one. You'll probably, well, should probably get one more level and go to level 20. Your deeds should be Bastion's keep as There we go. We're still 19. Okay, not so much. Okay, let's go to Hadric. Not shoot Hadric, go to Hadric. Okay, that's it. Now get away from Hadric, check check your equips, uh, put in stuff that will give you more damage. Anything that gives you more damage, it goes. Anything that does not is discarded. Very simple, straightforward system, keeps you alive. That's it, simple as that. Your damage goes up, and you can actually go to a higher difficulty level and just start killing things with absolutely no remorse. So let's go to Orek, and he talks about rifts and shit. I think we can just do a Nephilim rift. Uh, let's see how much you expect. So I'm just showing you guys the different things that you can do as a normal character starting a new game. Now, if I were you, when I have this much damage, I'll just go to hard or master mode and just, you know, even if it's difficult, I'm going to have fun over there. I'm just saying. There we go. So we're doing Nephilim Rifts here. The whole point of the Rift is to find champion uh, monsters and just go kill them. That's the... That's the whole idea. Just just gather them all up and kill them. Don't, don't waste your time with teeny weeny useless monsters. If you have AoE, gather them up, kill them all. Now, having extra movement speed really does help in a rift. Um, if you can just resource gen like a mad person, then it's, it's even better. You know, you can even skip time mobs and just keep walking. Remember, the whole point is to find high-density mobs. You're not looking to fight teeny-weeny mobs here. Your defenses are nothing. If you can get them in one shot, do it. Otherwise, just keep moving. His whole point is to get him in. Yeah, that's the whole point of this. Which is to get... Yeah, you want to get those tokens that you guys saw. The cool colored tokens that came out. And then you want to get levels. And there... You're killing lots of goblins here, guys. You're gonna kill the goblin as fast as you can. Kill the goblin as fast as you can, run after it. There you go. Don't don't worry too much about other things. Get the goblin. Bravo. The reason I say get the goblin, the whole point of it is that you also get rare items, you get various equipments. 
equipment, plural, English. You get crafting materials, you get gems, um, you get a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, there's one more. Dead. I remember these are these are rare. I mean, you don't see these guys. I just saw a whole bunch of goblins right now, and you guys are lucky that you get to see these. You don't get them on every level. There are tons of goblins roaming around like that. So... There you go. I can't pick up anything else. Yeah, so I was making good time before all these goblins came out and I just went crazy, so I'm gonna get back to it guys. Come on. We're now level twenty, by the way. Didn't see that coming, did you? We are gathering a lot of crafting materials. Because remember that post 60, a lot of these materials are going to be slightly obsolete. Well, they're going to be obsolete. What the hell is slightly obsolete? There's no degree of obsolescence. You see, we're doing a lot of damage. We're doing a lot, a lot, a lot of damage now in normal difficulty. This is when, you know, you can actually... start experimenting with other stuff, uh, bigger difficulties, is that's when you know that you're already tough. I'll go with increased critical and that being said you can actually check out the critical hit chances at 6.80 you want that as high as you can because your damage will soar something we can even do once we have got some levels under our belt we can start concentrating I can't pick up anything else Your defenses are nothing. Fair enough, but our difficulty level is as good as nothing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we could have actually gone back for that. We'll see if he can do it, but no, disappeared. Yeah, we should have actually gone the other side, or maybe shot across, but that's okay. It's just gold. That's it. Next. Bye, Desecrator Man. Holy. Wow. Those things always freak me out a little bit. Maybe because of the way they're built. Ah, oh, these are the West March type monsters. Thank you very much, guys. We're on level 21 now. I love these monsters to die so quickly for us. Die for the Emperor! A little bit of channeling my inner Warhammer right there. If only they could see me now.
Now, I know I'm slowing down a little bit, but we're almost done here. So, I'm just gonna find the next patch. Patch of monsters, but we're actually done. Um, there we go. Rift Guardian comes out, we just have to kill him. And there he is. But guys, this is way more difficult in the higher. Yeah. And this gets very difficult on higher difficulty levels. Yeah, I'm just I'm just having fun, but I can't pick up anything else. But we are nothing unless we temper it with skill. If you are to achieve your birthright, then conquer the rifts and take your rightful place among us. I can't carry any more. Okay, cool. That's it. And um, we're done with that. Let's go. We got another level. We're level 21. We can just do rifts as well. Just keep doing rifts and keep doing better and better and better and better and better. And better. You get experience. You can, you can actually see that. There you go. You get gold. Um, you get a whole bunch of stuff here. So here we go. We can socket five gems, raise the blacksmith, blah, 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 blah. Do all sorts of stuff. So we're going to do that. Um, we'll go to... Don't kill Shen. He's rank 10. Done. It's an achievement complete. Now we'll also go in here and we'll train. Rigi's rank 3. Okay. Just, uh identify the stuff that needs to be identified remember that we're looking for whatever promotes damage so if it promotes damage we upgrade it simple very basic logic it just works keeps you competitive which is the whole point yes yes I know about the pants I didn't miss it on purpose just looking at the other stuff I did miss it on purpose Whatever. Oh, cool! Look at this. When three or more enemies are within twelve yards, you release a wall stench. Stench. Okay, that deals five twenty weapon damage per person every second for five seconds to enemies within fifteen yards. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. Okay, it also it also gives us um a huge damage bonus. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna go talk to this dude and have him. I'm sorry. I'm gonna talk to this dude and have him decompose everything. I learned that. Can we forge highest usable have materials? Oh, look at that. They're red color now. Oh, that's artisan level four. So you need him at a higher level. Highest usable is a first journeyman battle axe, smoke spears. We can actually make this. Let's just see what happens. Um, not good. We actually have a pretty good one ourselves. Bernald staff, may stagger, lung, whatever. We make a battle axe for ourselves actually. Oh look, look, look. We can make a wand. Wand. Let's go make a wand. It's practically the same damn thing. Let's try again. Okay, so this is another feature that lets us just make two or three of them in one go. Uses a huge amount of material, so be careful about that, guys. All of them suck. Just go there. Thank you. Just take everything away. Yeah, we'll make a scoundrel token. I have no money. Alright, cool. You don't have any money. We suck. <laughs> right. Uh, let's look at our skills. We have any new skills to speak of? Nothing. 
Hmm, there's something called Disintegrate, which channel beam of pure energy dealing 390 weapon damage is arcane. This starts with 430. Okay, Disintegrate and 250 weapon damage every second. Up to a total of 890 weapon damage is arcane. So here we get... Okay, what's the point? Okay, let's let's check this out. Maybe we have a bigger, yeah. Huh. I don't see the big deal about this. That's different from Ray of Frost right now. So I'm not gonna... It's, yeah, it, it also has the area of effect. So it probably will get the area of effect later on, so we'll come back to it. Grade 4, I can orbit, 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 orbit you... Oh, very cool. Now that's what they're talking about. They just explode when they orbit us. Alright. That's fine. Wave of Force still has the same crap. Um, Twister is now... It has Mr. Breeze, but nah, forget it. Hydra! Summon a multi-headed Hydra for 15 seconds. It deals... 65 weapon damage. Huh. Yeah, it would actually free me up to do other things. So... Okay, we'll look at that later. We'll just do the Hydra for that one. Cross Nova's Cold Snap. Increases freeze duration to 3 seconds. Gives you more cooldown. Reduce the cost of all skills by 9. That's actually pretty awesome. It's only for three seconds anyway. This is a new skill, slow time. Invoke a bubble of warp time and space at the target location up to 60 yards away for 15 seconds, reducing enemy attacks by 20. Hmm, movement speed, okay. No, I'm not too impressed. You got ice armor's got chilling aura. Lower the temperature of the air around you, nearby enemies are chilled. Now that's not bad. That's not actually bad if it slows them down. Magic weapon. Imbue your weapon with magical energy granting a 10% increased damage. That's an aura skill. That's not bad at all. Okay, hey, what else do we have? Okay, that's it. So, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it. Yeah. This is the Hydra. I can only put one. Right. So you can see in here damage by in damage by skills. Very cool. Alright guys, that's it. Well, we got a new... Okay, we got a new passive skill. Um, reduce all cooldowns. When you cast a signature spell, you gain 5 arcane power. What do we have right now? Oh, we don't gain it when we use it? Oh, that's pretty... Bleh. So you gain 5 arcane power. You gain your power faster. Now I'll take Power Hungry, it's just if it increases my damage even further, I will take it. <gasps> Alright guys, I think that we have reached pretty much the end of our tether over here. You can also go to Kadala, who's standing here, and 
buy new stuff. Um, one hand weapon is it is actually pretty expensive. Oh, look at that. This is cool. No, you can't have it back. Um, it gives us more damage, so obviously I'm going to keep it. The enemy killed by cold damage have a 20% chance to release a Frost Nova. That's actually pretty damn awesome. So we will take it. Let's do that. That was good. Normally you guys get crap from her, but that was a good find. So this is Winter Flurry. We do have a bunch of Cobalts. Not a lot, but a bunch. Hmm. Alright guys, so we're out of time for this gameplay. So this was an introduction to Season uh, 12 that we are in right now. And we will continue this gameplay in the next chapter. We'll go ahead in the season journey for season 12. And we will increase the difficulty level and go to hard. That's what we're going to do. Or we may even go more than that. So I will see you guys next time. Enjoy your night. And my name is Jay Dave Kishu. And this playthrough was brought to you by Razorline Entertainment. Thank you very much, um, Blizzard, for designing a good game. I'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Peace.